Good morning, everybody. It is Sunday, Christmas Eve, the day before Christmas Day. Now, if you've never met me before, I am the most unusual Bible teacher on all of YouTube and Facebook. I go by RU period Eugene Bear on Facebook and B period Eugene Bear on YouTube. You can find 300 teachings on all different subjects. I drink coffee, eat chips, toast, oatmeal. I eat and drink as I teach. Very unusual. I am not a Christian. I'm a Christ anointed believer. Christ means anointed. Messiah means Christ. And Christ means that that person is either indwelt or the spirit is upon them. The anointing is upon them. Olive oil represented the anointing Holy Spirit. It was poured upon David and upon priests and upon kings. Olive oil represents the Holy Spirit. The spirit word, God is word, God is spirit. El Father is a spirit. There is one spirit. That's the great revelation, one spirit. Now, I have, I, I, I'm not a Christian. I'm a Christ anointed believer. Too much junk going down in the over 1,000 denominations that claim the title Christian, and uh, they still don't have it right. My gift and calling is to reveal truth in the Word of God. So that's what I do, and I teach different. I'm not trying to please men. I'm not trying to get your money. I'm not trying to start a church. I'm just an anointed teacher. That's my gift. I exercise it. Uh, also, I want to thank my sister for sending me a requested Detroit shirt. I'm from Michigan, born in Saginaw, about two and a half hours, three hours north and slightly west of Detroit in the middle of Lower Peninsula. And I was born in Saginaw, 1943, raised in Midland and ran over to Bay City all the time on a little short chunk of expressway. And we used to race our hot 55 Chevys and 63 Stingray Corvettes over to Bay City and try to make it around 10 or 12 minutes between Midland and Bay City. And you would have to drive faster than 80 miles an hour on the expressway to do that. The closer to 100 you got, the better off you were. <laughs> so we were a bunch of fast boys with fast cars between Midland and Bay City. Now, the Tri-Cities. I'm from Saginaw Valley, the Tri-Cities. Uh, not a Christian. Christ-anointed believer. Uh, I was going somewhere with that. Maybe it'll pop back into my head. I'm going to go to three places in the Gospels, uh, John and Luke, and make a point on Messiah, Christ, anointed. I'm going to start in the Gospel of John, first chapter, 40, verse 41. He, uh, he first findeth his own brother Simon, and saith unto him, We have found the Messiah, which is being interpreted the Christ, the anointed. Verse 42, And he brought him, Peter, Cephas, to Jesus. And when Jesus beheld him, he said, Thou art Simon, the son of Jonah. Thou shalt be called Cephas, which is, by interpretation, a stone. Now I want you to understand something. Jesus did not say, I'm going to build my church upon your stone, Peter. He said, upon this rock, I shall build my church. And the Lord Jesus Christ was the chief corner rock. Cephas meant stone, or if you want to give him foundation stone, okay. But Cephas is not the chief corner rock, rock in the wilderness that brought forth water. Peter, a stone, Cephas, a stone, is not the chief 
corner rock, and upon the chief corner rock I shall build my church, and it's a living building temple. It's a spiritual building temple. Okay, so much for that. And when it comes to Messiah, Christ, anointed one, we turn to Luke 4.18, which I have pre-tabbed with scotch tape so I can flip right to it. And he came to Nazareth where he had been brought up. We're talking about the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And as a custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up to read. And he was going to read the spirit word written. He was going to read out of the either Torah, the first five books of the King James Bible, or out of the prophets, major minor prophets. And there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah, or Isaiah, Isaiah. Okay, so he's reading one of the prophets. This could be considered a major prophet. There's major or minor prophets. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written. And the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he hath anointed me. So that's my point. The word anointed, Messiah Christ anointed. All right. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. He has anointed me to preach, teach the mystery, the gospel or the gospel to the poor. He hath sent me. So Messiah Christ anointed was sent. So he's the sent son, the sent anointed one, the Messiah Christ. And that's what I am. That was the point I was making earlier. I'm not Christian. I do not uh, observe Christmas. I thank my family for sending me gifts, but I'm broke. I got $20 to get me through the end of the month. Okay, so I haven't got the money to go out and buy Christmas gifts and send them or mail them, and it costs 18 to 25 dollars to mail gifts across the United States today. All right, so anyway, he is sent to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captive, to recover the sight of the blind, and to set at liberty. Have you ever studied liberty or freedom? I think you can find it in Galatians, even though they fell away. The principles are still there. The fruit of the Spirit, things that the Galatians should have remained in, but they fell away to another gospel, another Christ. They fell away to Gnostic, Gnosticism. Gnostic Christianity cult they fell away to. Not They took and distorted and twisted Paul's message. Galatia fell away with the rest of Asia, the middle of Turkey, to another Christ, another gospel. All right, I read on. To preach the acceptable year of the Lord. This acceptable year is the Lord's time, his ministry, three and a half years. So it was his year, his time to teach and preach, his ministry come forth, as it is mine, chosen at the age of 30, 44 years ago, almost 45. Now is my time or my years, three and a half to teach and preach the truth that the Holy Spirit has revealed to my heart, mind, my spirit, soul. I am today, now, part two. The second is better with better promises, anointed teacher for today. And I'm different than any other teacher you'll hear or see out there. Have a sip of your coffee and a bite of toast or a bite of your oatmeal. <coughs> Excuse me, you can read on to the end of 21. Now I want to turn back to John. <coughs> Excuse me, my coffee went down the wrong pipe. <coughs> you can hear my voice, it got raspier. All right, chapter 4, verse 20, the woman at the well. And this is the last half of what went on there. You can read the first half about spiritual living water the spirit welling up in her, <clears throat> and she'll never thirst again. But with Nicodemus, the water there is womb water. It's not the same water that's taught here at the well, from the natural water to the spiritual water. With Nicodemus, it's womb water, natural birth first, and you must be born again of the spirit second. 
all right, or you can't see or enter the kingdom of God. Now, <clears throat> we're with the woman at the well. She's a Gentile. This is, uh, let me see, is, is it, the? Uh, where is she? Is she a uh, uh, Samaritan? Is it the Samaritan woman at the well? Samaria, yes. A woman of Samaria. Okay, she's Gentile. She probably speaks Aramaic. She could be a Syrian, Jordanian, Aramaic-speaking Gentile. All right? Verse 20. <clears throat> the woman is speaking. Our fathers worshipped in this mountain, and ye say that Jerusalem is the place where men ought to worship. Now the Lord Jesus, give him his deity, call him Lord. The Lord Jesus answered. I got to hurry. Ten minutes. The Lord Jesus saith unto her, Woman, believe me, the hour cometh when ye shall neither in this mountain nor in Jerusalem worship El Father, the Father. Put El over the. The is a wasted space. Ye worship, ye know not what. We know what we worship for. Now, this is not translated right here, so I retranslated it because I'm the anointed teacher. For salvation, Shua, the last half of the Lord's name in Hebrew, Shua, Yahshua, Yahoshua. For salvation, Shua, is through Israel, Judah, the tribe, not Jews, of Jews. Salvation is through Israel, through me, and I came out of the tribe of Judah, out from, out from, the way, out from Israel, out from Judaism in the synagogue, all right? That's a whole other teaching. I don't have the time. Twelve minutes, got to hurry. But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshiper shall worship El Father in spirit truth. I whited out two words between spirit and truth. I made one word, spirit truth, the Holy Spirit Word of truth, spirit truth. For El Father seeketh those to worship him. God, El Father, I added El Father, is a spirit. And they that worship him, El Father, must worship him in spirit truth, true witness. All right? Spirit truth. The Holy Spirit of truth, and don't forget the truth. It's about honesty, truth, and light. All right, I read on at 12 minutes and 50 seconds. The woman saith unto him, I know that Messiah cometh, which is called Christ. And I taught you that anointed and Christ go together. All right. Messiah, Christ anointed, the anointed sent son, the anointed one, the anointed sent one. And it's his time, his appointed year, three and a half years to reveal truth. He left his realm, heaven, and came into our realm to bear witness to the truth. Those that love truth and are born of the truth, hear his voice, hear his teachings. Messiah cometh, which is called Christ, when he is come, he will tell us all things spirit truth. All right, third time, I added spirit truth. Jesus saith, Lord Jesus saith unto her, I that speak to thee am he. I am the Messiah, Christ, anointed, Luke 4.18. There's your teaching with 13 minutes and 53 seconds. Have another sip of coffee. I'm not Christian. I don't observe Christmas. And I am a Christ-anointed Christ anointed believer. I am an anointed teacher for today, 2017, and the year to come, 2018. Bye. Happy, happy.